SMC, ICT, VCP, and even Elliott Waves. These advanced concepts sound really impressive, but how many of you can really be profitable trading with these strategies? They leave you more confused than profitable. The market doesn't care about your fancy tactics, it moves on its own terms. So why not just keep it simple? Remember the first indicator you learned? The moving average. It's straightforward, easy to understand, and when used correctly, incredibly effective. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to use moving averages to identify market trends and trade reversals at the right time. Trust me, it's simpler than you think and can save you a lot of stress and time. Step 1. Identify long-term versus short-term trends. Before making a trade, you need to identify both the long-term and short-term trends of an asset. Why buy something with no long-term value, right? The moving average ribbon is the best tool out there to spot both short and long-term trends. We use four types of exponential moving averages, each providing unique insights. Please follow this setup. The 20-day EMA guides short-term movements. The 50-day EMA is a less sensitive short-term indicator. The 110-day EMA indicates mid-term movements and the 200-day EMA is the compass for the long-term trend. When these MAs are used together, spotting the market trend becomes straightforward. In a bullish market, expect the lines to stack up with the 200-day EMA at the bottom and the 20-day EMA on top and vice versa for a bearish market. Step 2. Pullbacks in a bullish market. After identifying the market trend, don't rush to enter the trade. Many retail traders lose money by buying at the top. Instead, wait for a pullback. It might take time, but with thousands of markets out there, you'll always find one to trade. Step 3. Reversal. Buy the dip. Once you've identified a pullback in a bullish market, wait for signs of a reversal. Buying at the dip gives you a price advantage over those who bought at the top. This is where TradeDot's premium indicators come into play. They can spot every underpriced and overpriced point on a chart. And your task? Identify the green signals in a bullish market. That's where the dips are. Even if the price drops below the signal and incurs a loss, the bullish market trend means the price is likely to move back up, allowing you to recover and potentially profit from the trade. Step 4. Exit when it's overpriced. To close a position, use the trade dots indicator. During a bull market, prices can easily move outside the 20-day EMA. Exiting right away might mean missing further upward movement. Trade Dots helps you identify other confirmation signals for better exit timing, making trading simpler and less stressful. Let's review the four-step rule by applying it to Bitcoin. Let's pull up a daily chart of Bitcoin on TradingView and activate the MA Ribbon and Trade Dots indicators. Customize the MA Ribbon to show the 20 EMA, 50 EMA, 110 EMA, and 200 EMA. You'll see a bullish trend from late 2023 to 2024, with the MAs stacked accordingly. Notice the trade dots indicator showing overpriced signals when the price moves up. This tells us it's not a good time to buy, so we wait for a pullback. During a pullback, the trade dots indicator will label reversal patterns in green. After entering a trade, use the trade dots indicator to identify overpriced points and additional reversal signals. Simple as that, you save a lot of time on trading than waiting for those ICT setups. Trading isn't about predicting the future with 100% accuracy. It's about making informed decisions based on trends and signals. By identifying long-term market trends and using tools like Trade Dots, you can minimize losses and avoid common pitfalls that trap retail traders. Ready to simplify your trading? Subscribe to Trade Dots for a free 7-day trial through our official website and start making smarter trades today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more trading tips and strategies. See you in the next one.